The sleek new compact NX6110 from HP is an amazingly infuriating, <coughs> efficient business notebook. If you should ever need to completely destroy or take one apart for repair purposes, this is how it should be done. Start by unplugging the computer and removing the battery. Now remove the hard drive. To do this, remove the two screws that secure this cover. Unscrew the single screw that holds the hard drive and then carefully remove the hard drive as shown. Take out the screw holding down the center cover and then remove the cover. To remove the RAM card, push outward on both latches and then pull out the card. To unplug the two wires of the Wi-Fi antenna, gently pull up on their connections that are on the Wi-Fi card and then remove the Wi-Fi card the same way as the RAM card. Note that black is the main while white is the aux. To replace a RAM or Wi-Fi card, simply put it in the slot at an angle close to 40 degrees and push down on the card until the latches snap into place. After taking out the two screws underneath the center cover, remove all the screws from the bottom of the laptop. Now take out the four screws from the back of the laptop. Be sure to remove the two screws from the battery area. If you do not have a Torx bit, a small flathead screwdriver can be used instead. Remove the keyboard by pulling down on the four small clips, then gently pull up on the keyboard. Unplug the keyboard by pulling up on the small latches on each side of the connection. Then pull up on the keyboard. Loosen the screen hinge cover by prying in the small slots. Pull up firmly on the hinge cover to remove it. Remove the screw found on each of the screen hinges. Unplug the screen by carefully pulling up on the connection. Loosen the two Wi-Fi antenna wires as shown. Be sure to take note of the routing. Remove the fan by unscrewing the two screws and disconnecting the wires. Pull out the two Wi-Fi antenna wires from the small clip as shown. Now pull them out from underneath the motherboard. Pull out the screen as shown to separate it from the base of the laptop. Push on the back of the disk drive to remove it. Take out the second RAM card and unplug the two connectors that are now visible. Remove the two screws under the hinge cover. Now the palm rest can be removed. Flip the laptop over and using a screwdriver, pry next to the clips around the edges as shown.
flip the laptop back over and simply pull up on the palm rest to remove it. Disconnect both ends of these cables and remove them. Remove the two screws securing the modem and pull up on the modem. Pull out the heatsink after loosening the four screws that hold it down. To remove the processor, turn this screw to the left. Carefully pull out the processor. Notice the small arrow on the top right corner of the processor. That corner of the processor is placed in the corner of the socket that has fewer pinholes. To remove this plate, take out the three screws that secure it and pull it off. Pull out the sound card after removing this screw. Now simply pull out the speakers. Remove the screws from the external monitor port as shown. Now carefully lift out the motherboard. Turn the motherboard over and remove these four screws. Turn the motherboard back over and firmly pull straight up on the PCMCAA card slot. Now the laptop is completely disassembled.